problem that um, can be thought of in several ways, but especially when I explain a problem, I like to, to show things graphically whenever it makes sense. So what I'm going to do is use a tree diagram here to illustrate this, and just keep in mind that you can use this tree diagram as you like or without doing it if you think you don't need it, but it's very good uh, teaching aid. Here's what I was talking about. Here's the tree diagram that represents the first draw. Ted can either get a blue, white, or green. And then the second draw, once Ted gets a blue, he has three choices. Once he gets a white, he has the same three choices. And once he gets a green, the same three choices. Now what I would like to do is uh, label some probabilities on this. I'm not going to do them all because we don't need them all. But for instance, um, what would be the probability of going on the first draw and getting a blue? Well, that looks pretty easy. If you think about it, there are six blues, four whites, and eight greens. If you add those up, that's 18. So on the first draw, Ted has a probability of six eighteenths, which is one-third of getting a blue. You could do the same thing with the white and the green. 4 out of 18 reduces to 2 ninths, so the probability of getting a white is 2 ninths. And the probability of getting a green, 8 out of 18 reduces to 4 ninths. I'm not going to do it all because we don't need it all, but one of the things they're asking about is getting a second one that's green, so I certainly need to at least do this much. If Ted is putting the marble back in, then the second draw is exactly like the first draw because if he puts that marble back in, shakes it all back up, then there are still 18 marbles, there are still 6 and 4 and 8, and nothing has changed. Those two uh, events are completely independent of each other, and that's going to be important in solving this problem. So on the second draw, all the probabilities stay exactly the same. In particular, the probability is still 4 ninths.
conditional probability. We're given, look at the probability of one event given the occurrence of another. I'm again going to draw uh, on the information uh, from the problem we just did, as you'll see.